The Nile goes back a very, very, very long way. The Nile, the, the Nile River system 12, 12 and a half thousand years ago looked, looked much the same as it, as it does today. The Nile River system was pretty much 12 and a half thousand years ago the way that it is today. The big difference was that the Sahara Desert was green and fertile. This coincides with Dr. Robert Schock's Absolutely. assertion that we're, when you look at the Temple of the Sphinx, you're dealing with thousands of years of water erosion. Yes. And the last time there was water like that in the Nile Valley was when? The last time you had the water erosion like that in the Nile Valley was precisely during the Younger Dryas. The Younger Dryas was a period of extremely heavy rains in Africa. And it's rainfall, it's, it's erosion caused by heavy rains that is the enigma on the Great Sphinx. It's not, we're not saying that there was a flood came over the Great Sphinx. We're looking at what's called precipitation-induced weathering, weathering that was caused by exposure to about a thousand years of extremely heavy rainfall. And Dr. Robert Schock puts that thousand years precisely in the Younger Dryas period.